All right, gang, we are back with our very weird micro series that is the most professional thing that we've ever done. Uh, <laughs> Me? <I'm>, yes. Yeah. <laughs> That's the thing I've ever Kevin, done. Uh, Maze on the camera, and we're playing with hand traps. That's right. So uh, I know some of you got excited by the title. It's not that. Um, <clears throat> we have today, we've moved up to 1902. Uh-huh, a whole uh, year. Yeah, and I, we don't know for sure. It could be earlier. Oh, okay. Because that's the earliest uh, advertising I can find for this particular hand trap, gotcha, which is gotcha. the Swift Shore Hand Projector. Kevin, okay. would you like to describe that to the audience? <clears throat> yeah, so what you've got here is a piece of wood with a piece of metal. Okay, no, so <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's, uh, it's basically like a nightstick with uh, a hand trap on the end of it, and, uh, you know, it's... It doesn't have the flexi bits that the DuPont did and all the complications. You right. just it's put got the, the thing It's got in the, and, like, tensioned head. Yeah. And then that's it. That's it. That's, that's the only movable part. Brilliant, really. I mean, who could have ever come up with this? Yeah. Let's <laughs> just put it on a stick. Uh, I have not been able to find a patent for this device. I'm not sure why I haven't been able to find a patent. Uh, this one drove me crazy, actually. I'm very proud to have this one. It's made by uh, Cogswell & Harrison Limited of Bond Street, London. Okay. And... Uh, the reason I'm happy to have this one is because it was driving me crazy for months because there were not one but two turn of the century era magazines that had photos of this thing. One had just a photo of it mm -hmm. with some clays, and the other one had a photo of some Frenchmen getting ready to, to do uh, trap shooting, and they were talking about things you could use. Oh, wow. And so you had a picture of a guy ready with one, and it was obviously the exact same device. And so in two different languages in two different countries, two different articles, a couple years apart. Mm -hmm. I went... This must have been a, for this to show up in multiple places, it must have been a fairly common hand trap. Right. But I couldn't find it. And, uh, you know, you're doing your Google Kung Fu. Right. And you're in the Hathi Trust and Google Books and stuff like that. And, you know, I can find a lot of ads. Mm -hmm. The Hathi Trust is a great place to look up old magazines and things, too. Mm. Um, so I'm looking for hand trap and, you know, clay thrower and things like that. Right. Nothing. So the reason I found this one, it's just a silly story, but some people like it. Yeah. There's another one that I'm still looking for called the Pike, which was patented, I believe, in 1900. And in trying to find stuff out about the Pike, I found an article, or rather a letter to the editor that was written by the Brothers Pike. And they were complaining to a magazine that they dared to tell people to buy this when it's clearly garbage compared to their superior oh, hand trap. Okay. Right? Talking trash. Right. Oh, yeah. Mad, okay. mad trash. So, but the, the thing is, because they were talking trash about it, they gave its real name, the hand projector. And I went, what's that? So I started digging for that, and then I found out. That's the thing I was missing. I couldn't oh. figure out what. So uh, once I knew what to call it, I was able to find one um, shipped out of Britain over here so that we can try it out. So this is it's fancy digs. It's the hand projector. Yeah, it's not a hand trap. It's a hand projector. Okay. Well, there we go. You want to give it a shot, Kevin? Yeah, sure. Let's give this thing a roll. Swift. Swisher throw. Swift wait. sure. Swift okay. sure throw. There we Swisher. go. Swisher. Push your sweet. All right, all right, guys. I'm gonna. Every time I start to talk, they say something to make me laugh. Uh, <laughs> the Swift Shore uh, Sweet Thrower. <laughs> you cannot say Swisher Sweet. No, I can't say Swisher Sweet. We, we can yeah. tell how you grew up. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right. I think I'm doing this the right direction. Yeah. Okay. So basically, the objective here is we put this uh, clay in here, and you don't smack it hard like I did and crack it, uh, and then. You grab it. There's a there's a clue where to grab it, and then you do that, and then you just uh, throw it. I guess, right? He's blues clued that. Look at him go. I believe in you. All right, here we go. Let's just see what happens. Oh, you know, there's a lot of drama in that throw because I thought it was going straight for the ground. So did I. <laughs> that was uh, that was that was called skill, bro. Oh, yeah, that was a neat. Okay, so we're gonna reload here. So immediately, way faster than the Dupont. Yeah. And just throw it in and I'm ready oh, to go yeah, That's again. night and day. Yeah, right. but don't you miss that sound of creaking and suicide? Right. All right, so that's <laughs> creaking and suicide. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna do a little 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 uh, extra here. All right, yeah, oh, we're that's great. Oh, I like that how went, you threw it directly that went into the next year. All right, that didn't happen. That was uh. This is an active range, but luckily no So I'm no all here. about the education. So that's how you don't do that, okay, guys? So. <laughs> Just, I had to show you. To He's training it. you wrong on purpose. <laughs> right. Here we go. Ooh. Ooh, look at that one. Yeah. So, like, I don't know, half the distance. It sounds like it's not quite point. stabilizing. Yeah, it does sound like it's fluttering. I don't know if you right. guys can hear it at home, but it's got a little whiff to it. I'm going to choke go a little further down on the handle, give it some extra leverage. Ooh. Yeah. That one got some height. How much muscle are you there? putting into this? Though? Uh, looks... Yeah, like, maybe, like... I'm gonna let uh, Othias give that a try. Probably like 60%. Uh, 
And one thing I've noticed, and I, I actually am getting more tired doing that than the DuPont. Yeah, okay. Level one. Although that just tore the crap out of my hand. Yeah, how did you like that grip? It didn't bother me. Oh, well, look at cow hands. It's hand. a wooden bicycle grip. <laughs> <laughs> I've got, well, to be fair, guys, I have bad calluses on my hands, so. It's extremely sharp edged. <laughs> Is it? It's aggressive. Okay. Oh, way better than mine, that one was. I mean, it's for, for someone who's going to shoot a shotgun. I had more distance. I feel like I'm putting more muscle into it than, you know, I use regular hand traps. And you right. try to whip them. <laughs> And it's like I'm going for the whip, and then it's not helping me at all, and I'm feeling it in my elbow. Mm -hmm. And then I feel like I do a hundred of these, I'm gonna kind of, I'm not gonna be very happy about it. Although I'm really feeling it in my hand. I got pink marks on my hand. <laughs> really? Yeah. It's I crazy. got in little striations from the. Huh. Oh, here, let's let May try it. Maybe she. Yeah, maybe she's better. Than maybe us. I'll have a better look. Again, total expert here is about to be on range. I can get the clay in there, you know, as you an expert not like do. It, but this is what peak performance looks like. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So Thias has this weird look. shoulder throw yeah, thing. Yeah. So where are you going with it? What's your technique here? Yeah. Wh My which technique... direction should I aim this so camera? I, I played tennis um, oh, when boy. I was younger, and I did baseball, so mm -hmm. I'm more used to the swings that come with that. So I, I gotcha. typically go from low to high for the tennis uh, forehand stroke. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. It's more helpful than anything I've said all day. That wasn't bad. No. No, it still didn't stabilizing though. Mine's, I see it, you the just see it in there, it flutters. It could like be that crazy. piece of rubber. Yeah, that is a very, it's not only is it an old piece of rubber, it's very uneven. Yeah, right. it's, you can tell it's dry, it's cracking, it's smaller than what I think it should be. Well, it's probably uh, old gum uh, rubber. Some more of what yeah. you said comments. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, how's your hand? It's not bad, but you're right. It's kind of biting me weird. I mean, I've got a nice callus building up right there, but it's still like, this really didn't bother you at all, Kevin? No. Oh, to be fair, he might not hold it as loosely as we do. I think oh, it's no, just I grip, because I death grip it. Oh, okay. If these were th wider, like if like two of these little lines, I was actually just how fat a single one was, it might actually do better. But because it's just little indents and they actually do dip in pretty deep too for where they cut out the wood, it's not very comfortable. Yeah, I don't like that. Hmm, I don't like the grip. I did, it has better throw than the DuPont, but I think you're right. This one would get kind of tiring over time. I yeah. feel like this is the thing that you have when literally nothing else has been invented. You, you're like, well, just put it on a stick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it would be fair, though, I mean, to take it with you. I love how much branding they put into it, too. Like, we're going to put a hand, they're going to put trap head on a stick, Swift mm -hmm. Shore hand projector. Like, how... How much pomp is in that name? It's amazing. <laughs> I mean, yeah, and they, they've got branding like everywhere, and they like, what is this? They're brass pretty proud of it. that they stamped around here? Yeah, like, they yeah. really tried to make it pretty. Well, they made things out of brass. <laughs> ah! <laughs> I hooked to the right. <laughs> I have learned I'm that. I'm going to take that away from me now. Here. Yeah. <laughs> this is your camera. Uh, oh, my God. I, I, I think it's time to wrap this one out. Yeah. Okay, well, that was a hand trick. <laughs> yeah. So the, clays went through the air mm -hmm. with some practice. Right. So, uh, yeah, maybe we got to get the pike in because they probably were right. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> if anybody has one of those, I'd love to buy it. But yeah. If anybody has weird hand traps, I've got Remington and Winchester and stuff like that covered, but like weird ones, let me know. Um, I'm always trying to figure out more of them. Right. Um, but no, so I think we we're running the same problem as this one, which is that it has a fixed head. Right. The, there's no flex in the system. So the Dupont had a hinged head that would swing right. around on you, and so I suspect even if you just took the arm off the Dupont and just used that, you oh, get maybe, better yeah. than this. Because it's just too solid. When it's solid like this, everything comes down to your wrist. Right. And then you have to transmit that flick all the way to the end of it. And I just don't, it, it functions, but I just, I can see where there's some limitations. And having worked with more modern hand traps, I know having some flex is pretty critical. Right. And and even with cocking the spring and all that, you get more tired for certainly with, I would be able to use the DuPont a lot longer. And we had, and at Rain's Day, we used it for a long time than using this for me. I would think the DuPont would exhaust me faster. Do you? Okay. I, but I would think it, unless well, the problem is if you tell me I got to throw 60 yards. Like right, to right. Consistently, to consistently get the fling out of this one, I'm gonna pull my elbow out because right. it's just trying to keep up with 
it not doing any of the mechanical work whatsoever. Okay. Now the price for this at the time, because I do have that from an old advertisement, 10 shillings, six pence. I don't know what that means in American money. And yeah. I don't know what that means 100 years later, but I'm sure somebody will dig it up in the comments. Yeah, let us know. Is that more or less than four bucks? <laughs> but I don't know. I had fun with it. It's super cool. It's going to go on the shelf, though. Probably not my regular hand trap. No, but probably not. Let's do another one another time. Nice. Bye, guys. Do you want me to start this one, or do you want to start this one? You can start it. You're the, you're the, you. I'm leading with most talky, so you have to lead with most dewy. Okay. What? Uh. Yeah, that doesn't work. Flopper, flopper, flopper. You just see that clay flopping in the background. Yeah, it's definitely... Yeah. Okay, we got it.